Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Final Cut is here, and yes, today we're looking at a low-budget, no-budget independent film called, and I rented it exclusively on the title, didn't know anything else about it, and it's I Spit on Your Corpse, I Piss on Your Grave. That's the title of this extreme underground film. Uh, I guess you can categorize it as an underground film. Uh, it basically tells the story of Sandy, who is captured by this escape convict, he takes her to a house, takes her down to the basement where he plans on torturing and killing her, along with some other captors as well. Well, when things don't go as planned for this crazy escape convict, and he ends up getting killed, we see what happens when Sandy, who was kidnapped, snaps and decides to take over the role as humiliator and executioner. And, uh, yeah, we see things happen from there. Folks, this film had some great intentions. I knew what they were kind of going for. They're kind of going for that nice ode to the revenge, uh, girl revenge films. You know, she had some extreme thing happen to her and now she's on the revenge trip, especially as, you know, we learn more about the characters in the dungeon and learn more about Sandy. Uh, but, you know, it, it is a low, no budget film and this actually is more of your average fare of what you kind of expect with the lower production quality, lower lighting, uh, audio bad in some spots. Uh, so, you know, it, it wasn't produ didn't have a really high production value look to it. It did look uh, like its budget fit it, okay? Uh, but I did like some of the performances in here, especially the one by Emily Hack, the main girl. I really liked her uh, crazy, uh, and I, I liked her role in this and how she handled this character. Definitely helps carry this film. Now, uh, there is one extreme scene in here as well that gets downright uh, raunchy or pornographic, if you will. And I, I total wow, I couldn't believe she did that scene. And But, you know, she does sell that scene, and it is... Definitely proving that it's an independent horror film that's going where Hollywood wouldn't dare go. Now, did it have to go there? No. Like some of the other sex scenes and nudity in here, it almost seemed thrown in. And if you watch the extras in the DVD, you'll see why it seems like that. It almost makes me wish I would have seen, uh, been able to see this original version of this film before they had to put scenes in there to get distribution. So uh, that, that's what I found interesting on this disc as well, is uh, the, that the movie came on, is they give you an interview, an honest interview of the movie makers telling you about how difficult it is to get distribution for a low no budget horror film and how things need to sometimes get changed in order to get that distribution. I really liked that behind the scenes interview more than uh, most of the movie actually though the movie does have heart and I know what it's trying for and some of the camera work was fantastic and I did like the effects in here as well but the rest of it ends up becoming uh, just a standard fare of your low, no-budget film. So if you're a fan of underground extreme horror films, you may want to check this out because it does have all the elements you look for in a film like that. But for you other independent horror films out th fans out there who don't like the really extreme stuff, you may want to avoid this film, though you can tell by the title, I Spit on Your Corpse, I Piss on Your Grave, you're going to, uh, you know, what you're pretty much in for in a film like this. So... That's where it's at, folks. Uh, I, like I said, you can watch the DVD and definitely check out the behind-the-scenes stuff. That stuff was really interesting and definitely gives you the insight of the trials and tribulations of independent horror films. And speaking of independent horror films, definitely check out on Kickstarter. Don't! Go to the reunion. That's right. The guys who made Teddy are trying to make a feature film, and they need your support. So head on over to Kickstarter. Look up for Don't Go to the Reunion, and uh, give your support, even a buck, five bucks, whatever you can to help them get this feature made, because what they did with a short was fantastic. I can't wait to see what these guys can do with a feature. Also, if you haven't checked them out yet, and you want a different opinion and some more mainstream reviews, check out Two Jews on Film. The, it's a husband and wife team, and the husband is was the director of the Faces of Death films. And they give hilarious reviews, and they're trying to get to a thousand subs. I'm far away from that, but they are very very close so go check them out and give a sub to them so they can hit that magic number of a thousand and, and tell your friends here about the final cut and sub us as well what the hell why not take a chance you never know what you might see on the show and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time 